everyone, this is Maxine, Vanity Girl Hollywood, and your Hollywood Insider with JetSetExtra.com. Today we're on location bringing you the best Pinchy's tacos throughout all of Los Angeles. Pinchy's Tacos right here on Sunset Boulevard with the Anaya Brothers. Miguel, you guys come from a long lineage of culinary families here in Los Angeles. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that all started and how you brought it here to Los Angeles? We actually all started off at the Ivy. Actually, our uncle, one of our uncles is, was the starting chef at the Ivy. Father ends up going over there and actually we all worked there for a good eight to ten years. And throughout there we started dispersing throughout LA and you know doing our own thing because we say, hey, we can cook too, might as well open up our own business. And what made you decide to open up a taqueria? Because we're Mexican, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud. No, honestly, I mean, you know what? When people come to LA and they ask us, where do you go for Mexican food? Honestly, we don't know where to tell them. So, you know, we found a void in the market with some good street tacos, but with good quality. And we said, you know what, let's have a effing taco. And that's where the name came, actually, Pinches Tacos. So we're just trying to educate people on real Mexican food, that's all. That brings me to my next question. Pinchy's Tacos, Jorge, have you guys received any flack for this title? Uh, we have from council members and people from the community. And at the end, it's another way of uh, bringing in customers to try us out. It's controversial. The original meaning of a pinche is a cook's assistant. That's how we got away with uh, trademarking the name federally. But that's not what we mean. It's about not taking yourself too seriously, because there's so much seriousness you can take in life. But the one thing that we do take seriously, like my tin tuck, is our freaking tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I know your tacos, they're, you're really proud of the fact that the, the recipes are Guadalajara and Jalisco, yeah. like the roots are real. And so tell me a little bit about that. How do you keep that tradition alive? Um, wow, well, we've been in the fam uh, restaurant business for generations and basically keeping everything a secret. The original taco originated in Jalisco, and that's where we're from. And just basically following the roots of uh, our family and pulling out old recipes and keeping them as traditional as possible and not Americanizing anything that we have. We actually have a couple of uncles uh, still in Guadalajara who have for many years owned uh, taquerias over there. And if you're in Guadalajara, look up Tacos El Güero. That's our uncle and that's where we got uh, the, the recipes from. That brings me to my next question. Jet Set Extra is a network of bloggers internationally who live and work in the cities. Mm -hmm. So they really know the city, which is why I'm your Hollywood insider. Mm -hmm. But Tell us when someone travels to Jalisco or Guadalajara, what are some inside track things that they need to do? Well, I'm the one that goes there. Uh, <laughs> definitely go, don't shop there. Shop in, they have amazing towns where, say you go, come to Olvera Street, something's worth a hundred bucks, you'll find it over there for 20. Go to towns like Tlaquepaque, you're not gonna remember that, just write it. Tlaquepaque. <laughs> uh, go around, you know, uh, downtown uh, Jalisco, uh, Guadalajara is full of amazing architecture both old and new. So there's a lot of stuff, yeah. And uh, yeah. if you want to try real authentic Mexico, go into the mercados, which are the like central plazas, yeah. and go into the nitty gritty restaurants that seem hole in the walls that are the busiest. You're going to find the most amazing yeah. food. I mean, How they're cooking it, yeah. it seems really like, wow, I'm going to eat that. But once you taste it, delicious, I mean, delicious. Take, take, your, take your Pepto Bismol and pills before, a and a lot of tequila to kill the germs, but you'll have a good time. Well, tell me about your booze policy. It's BYOB, and there's actually a hotline where there's a liquor store right across the street. Okay. You call them up, and two, three minutes later, they'll deliver. So you can call someone while you order a taco, and they'll come bring you what? What kind of alcohol? Uh, preferably tequila <laughs> or some tecate. Will I order some now? Would you like to order some? Yeah, let's order some right now. Hey, what's up? Hey, could I have a uh, bottle of Patron tequila silver and also a 12-pack of uh, tecate? And a, and a small jack. Oh, the only, yeah, okay, thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah, you really did. We're not making any money off of you bringing your own booze. So you gotta share. If you see one of us in here, you gotta at least give us one drink. I have customers that as soon as they come in, there's a beer right in front of me. And me in particular, I'm not shy. So if I want another drink, I'll go up to you and ask you for another drink. So that's it. BYOB is the best. So I did read on the website too that your tacos actually serve the clans of Pancho Villa. Our great great uncle used to be one of Pancho Villa's pinches, which was one of his cooks during the Mexican Revolution. So a lot of our recipes have been traced back over 115 years to the revolutionary era. That you know he used to feed all the the, the posse. Yeah, and I heard your, your mole is like 116 years old. Amazing, amazing. We literally import a raw chocolate from Oaxaca. A mole originated over 2,000 years ago, made by the Mayans, Aztecs, and the Incas. It's an Indian recipe. Yeah. And the most indigenous state in Mexico is Oaxaca. Oaxaca. And that's where we input our raw chocolate and 
a mole is a chocolate infused sauce made from raw chocolate taste nothing like chocolate definitely on the sweet side but delicious i have converted people into fans of mole when they said i don't like mole try my mole and you will love my mole try his mole and you will love his mole so rumor has it that Whoopi Goldberg flew you guys back east to cater her birthday party. Who wants yeah, to tell me about that? Yeah, she did. Uh, actually, the producers from The View, they always do a special on all the girls' birthday on their day. So they found out from Whoopi herself that we were her favorite restaurant. So they called us out. They're like, guys, would you mind coming to New York? And we're like, uh, let me think about it. Oh, <laughs> OK. So we went. We were backstage. I mean, when we saw her, we were honestly, when we were in the green room with all of them, Sherry and all of them, we felt like the stars because they love the food. And she's ordered, I think, uh, three or four times yeah, now. I've, I've uh, shipped food to her, overnight food for her family gatherings and whatnot, and always sends us little gift baskets. Thank you. You know, she's such an amazingly nice person. Yeah. This is Los Angeles, so a lot of times people make special requests in terms of vegetarian food. Do you guys do anything like that on your menu? Yeah, we have something for the veggies, you know. <laughs> We're not, you know, we want to be authentic, but we have uh, actually an amazing uh, veggie burrito, shiitake mushrooms, eggplants, bell peppers, tomatoes, it comes with a Veracruz style coleslaw, chipotle salsa, heaven. We have <laughs> vegan, vegan options also, so yeah. Okay, we have a little you really vegan. took it there, you went vegan. Yeah, I mean our a tortilla pizza. soup, our beans are vegan, our tortilla soup is vegan, amazing flavoring, obviously catering to everyone that's in LA. Okay guys, well thank you so much. Where can people find you? Uh, everywhere. You just gotta join us on Facebook and see where. Honestly, every day is different. So, uh, we're right now we hang out. We hang out at the Santa Monica location for the most part. That's our new baby. But like, I if you guys are in LA, look us up. Yeah. We'll show you guys around. What's the website? www.pinchestacos.com. Our email's on there. Just shoot us an email. Thank you so much. This is Maxine Tatlanghari, JetSetExtra.com with Pinchy's Tacos and the Anaya Brothers. Pinchos tacos.